Happy Sunday, folks. Welcome to the Chief NFT Strategist. Gang, gang in the building. Hey, it's Sunday, and it's the start of the week. Uh, this is when you should be setting that plan and uh, really, really being aggressive with what you want to get accomplished this week. One thing I do is I write out my things to do. I do it daily, but at the beginning of the week, I like to try to focus on what I really like to accomplish for this week. This week, I have a big week. I have a lot of interviews. I have a lot of meetings. Uh, I'm really trying to take things up with the marketing of the Bar Gang NFT project. So, uh, yeah, it's a big week. I've um, been a little frustrated with a few things lately, but that's life. Uh, make no excuses. I just got to keep plugging away, grinding, moving forward, uh, inching closer to the goals that I want to accomplish. So uh, I hope you all have an amazing week. And uh, definitely uh, this show, I want to just talk about something really quick that's really, really uh, been affecting me in the NFT space. Uh, and you should probably take notice of it. Um, but before I get into that, let me do this really quick. That's the bar gang, folks. Um, definitely, you can mint a bar gang NFT. It's in the description box. Check it out. Uh, so what I want to talk about, let me share my screen, is uh, I want to talk about the women right now in this uh, NFT space, man. They are killing it and literally killing it. Uh, let me just, uh, I'm going to share my whole screen. So I'm going to show you all this article, um, the title of the article, World of Women, NFTs are Cracking Crypto's Boy Club Image. In the first two weeks of 2022, the project Reese Witherspoon is obsessing over generating more than $40 million. Um, Let me just read a little bit of it. The NFT scene is really, scene really is overwhelmingly grossly male. It is starting to expand, though, thanks in large part to the world of women called WOW NFT Collection, a series of uh, 10,000 diverse female avatars created and illustrated by Yam Karke, a woman who claims to be on a mission to give back to women-centric organizations. Karke's brainchild has generated more than $40 million in two weeks, although the set sold out almost immediate, immediately when it launched in July of last year. The pieces are just now beginning to become prize collector's items. The rare wild NFTs, which were all originally priced at 0.07 ETH or almost about 225 bucks, are officially going for hundreds of thousands of dollars. Our intention with this project is to balance representation in the NFT space while at the same time pushing it forward and supporting causes that are close to our hearts, reads while. Web's, Wild's website manifesto. In designing the art itself, Karke purposely uh, avoided the use of any religious or political symbols and any elements that are specific to a culture's custom or practices. Since these women uh, was randomly generated upon launch based on a variety of pre-designed traits, she didn't want anyone to end up getting, for example, a blue-eyed white girl with an afro, according to an interview she did, the crypto blog coin desk this fall. Karke was not available to speak, but uh, definitely, this uh, World of Women project has taken off big time. Um, they actually signed an agreement. Let's see if it says it in this article. They signed an agreement, I want to say a few weeks ago, uh, about a week or so ago. And uh, they took off. When I started looking at the project a few months back, it was about uh, about one and a half ETH. Uh, once this agreement happened, like last week, they blew all the way up to... Like they went up to like 70. I think they got all the way up to uh, about 90. From when I talk about uh, got up to, I'm talking about the floor price. And the floor price means the absolute lowest an entity in that collection is selling for. 
So, um, yeah, man, um, I definitely missed the opportunity to um, cash in on that. Um, I really like what the art, how the art looks, and I really like uh, what the person is create the brand uh, that Kake is creating. Um, and it's definitely starting to catch on. Uh, if you read this back in mid-October, Reese Witherspoon became the first Holly Hollywoodian to change a Twitter profile picture to a blonde haired, blue skinned wow avatar. But the stampede arrived in January. In the first few days of the year, both Shonda Rhimes and Eva Longoria purchased and paraded their shiny new NFTs. So did beauty influencer and entrepreneur Huda Katten, who has 50 million followers just on Instagram, where her profile picture is, you guessed it, a wow avatar. And this is the world of women on open sea. You can kind of see what the avatars look like. Um, and you can see that price 7.6 ETH. Uh, what is 7.6 ETH? 7.6 ETH. I should know this stuff by heart, but uh, I don't. Uh, plus the, the the price of ETH fluctuates. But right now, 7.6 ETH, ETH. If you want to own a WOW NFT, you're going to have to spend $25,658.31. Wow. So yeah, definitely um World of Women is killing it. Um it's fascinating to watch the brand building. Um I'm not so um excited about the flips and the hype projects. I really like the brand building. And one of the things I really started taking notice too with the World of Women is how supportive they are of other uh, female collections. And I'm going to show you a couple, some that I'm invested in, some I'm looking at and eventually will invest in when the opportunity presents itself. Uh, but uh, the world of women, man, they are amazing at how um, they, you know, and I don't want to offend anyone because um, uh, I know there's some projects like uh, long neck uh, ladies, um, I'll talk about them too, but uh, what I saw as I entered the space, like the world of women was uh, the female NFT uh, brand staple um, that, that pretty much set the tone. And, and like I said, what made it fascinating watching them is how they supported the other women led collections. And so um, when I saw this and I started to see the support and the collaboration among um, all of the female led uh, uh, NFT collections, I said, hey, let me get in on this train. Let me start investing with them. And plus, I got an all male uh, avatar collection. And it makes sense from my perspective to try to partner and collab with them. Um, and I've been making efforts. It hasn't uh, panned out yet, but we'll see. Um, I'm going to keep plugging away and keep uh, flirting and see what happens. But anyway, some of the projects that um, either, like I said, I'm investing in or I'm looking at, the first is Women and Weapons. Right now, it's at 0.44 ETH, 0.44 ETH. One thing, um, when you're in this uh, NFT space, you want to keep an ETH, cal ETH calculator on your uh, computer. But right now, you could buy uh, the floor price for Women and Weapons is $1,485.14. I am investing in this project. Um, definitely, it's been in, endorsed by people like Gary V. Uh, so check that out. The next one is a uh, Boss Beauties. Uh, they caught my eye because they they had some type of uh, 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 partnership or some type of working uh, relationship with Marvel, and so I actually saw them. It's so crazy. This price point eight nine nine ETH. And when I was looking at them, they were about 0.4. So right now, if you want to get into Boss Beauties, it's uh, $3,033.50. The next one is one of my favorites, Alpha Girl, or Alpha Girl Club. Um, yeah, I've been in this one for a little bit, but uh, yeah, they're doing pretty good. Uh, if you want to get into the Alpha Girl Club, that's about uh, $2,294.53. If you look at their art, um, and, and what I really love about a lot of these projects is the diversity. Um, as you can see, I'm a black man and, um, I love when I see projects that really, really embrace all aspects of, 
a woman. Um, and you can kind of see Alpha Girl Club. They're, they're amazing. I love this art. And so that's Alpha Girl Club. The next one um, is Women Rise. So I love this project. Um, so to get in this project, it's uh, 0.297, which is about $1,000. And $1,000, about $1,000. Um, I love this project because I, um, I was actually fortunate to be able to mint uh, this particular collection. Um, it's so crazy. If you look at their tweets, like they were just kind of slowly uh, getting mints and slowly and slowly. They all of a sudden, they just boom, took off. I think they sold like 7,000 mints in a, you know, you know, in a few hours. Or I don't even know if it's that long, probably about an hour. So um, they're a testament of uh, sometimes, you know, going slow is not necessarily a bad thing. Um, so I believe they, they not believe, they meant it at 0.07. Now they're at um, 0.297 and seem to be uh, growing. The next one, which is also along the same line as Women Rise, is Rebel Society. To buy that one, you got to be at about 700 bucks. Same thing with, uh, very similar to Women Rise. I saw when they launched and they didn't necessarily sell out right away. Things were going slow. Um, I think I talked about uh, a tweet they made uh, a few shows back. They had got like 500 people that minted overnight. And then the same thing that happened to uh, Women's Rise happened to them uh, a few days ago or, or last week. I can't remember the exact date, but they just took out and sold out overnight. And so once again, very encouraging uh, for uh, individuals that's uh, building and creating collections that uh, it's not necessarily have to sell out right away. Keep plugging away, building your brand and the results will follow. The next one, Fame Lady Squad. To get into that one, you got to be at about one point. I mean, point one seven nine ETH, which is about six hundred bucks. Uh, I really like this art as well. You can see very diverse. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm in this one. Um, I love it. I love it. I love it. And then the next one is Sad Girls Bar. And you would think this makes the most sense for the bar game. Um, it was one I was looking at, was ready to pull the trigger, and someone bought it. Uh, it was a pretty rare one, too. But you can kind of see uh, what this looks like to get into this one. Oh, wow, they're up to 0.2. Um, I was looking, they was at 0.15, and they're at 0.12, which is 669 bucks. Um, so, yeah, check that out. I don't think I saw, did I show you how Rebel Society? Yeah, let me show you Rebel Society. Like, I love these, like, these girls are just, like, like going, they, they, they badasses like it's so dope i really i really like rebel society especially um they actually dropped their mint down to 0.02 which is about 60 bucks so if you were following this project i mean 60 bucks and now they're at uh what's that now they're at 700 bucks that's a hell of a come up i mean say you bought 10 of those oh that's some pretty good money um so yeah rebel society i'm really really bullish on this one and then the last one is Long Neck Ladies. Uh, I'm not sure if you're familiar with this story. This is the young lady, the 12 year old, I believe. Oh, she's 13 year old. Nala Hayes, black girl. Um, I mean, she's killing it. You could Google and look up her story. But Long Neck Ladies is um, her, her baby. Uh, she did something with time. Uh, right now, if you want this particular collection, because I think she has a few of them, if you want this partic particular collection, the price is 0.469 and um, that's $1,581.40. So there you have it. Yeah, that is the collections I am uh, looking at and um, or have purchased or um, yeah, that I've either bought one or I'm looking at purchasing one. I'm really bullish on the women in crypto, women in NFTs, uh, like I said, uh, in terms of like how you do it, I think they they are creating the model where they're supporting each other and um, encouraging each other. And that's what it's all about in any business and any creative efforts. We all need support. We all need help. We need to pull up and we need to be pulled up. So uh, check out those collections. One thing I will say, I'm not a financial advisor. This is just my opinion. And uh, 
be mindful a lot of these collections have run lately so i mean you may want to wait for a pullback i just don't know if they're going to pull back so just watch it closely oh i missed one i missed one shoot how did i do that i missed one and the one another good one hold on one second y'all Yeah, this is the the last one. Um, this is the last one. Hold on, let me share my screen one more time. How did I miss that one? That should have been my first one. Okay. So yeah, this is the uh, the last one. Crypto chicks. Um, I love this collection. Uh, I have to be honest, a couple collections I really, really looked at when I was creating my own. One was World of Women's. The other was uh, Crypto Chicks. There was a few others, but in terms of the women, uh, I really, really looked at them. But you can see they badass. I love this collection. And um, yeah, all it, most of these collections really, really uh, started to take off when World of Women got into that agreement uh, a few weeks back or a week back. And when, when World of Women ran, um, it pulled up a lot of these other female collections. So um, definitely check out uh, Crypto Chicks if you want to get into that one. The price to get in is... Come on, no, no, baby. Oh, boy. Well, you do the bad, 0.265 ETH. Um, I think that's probably about 800 bucks. I'm guessing, um, for some reason, my computer is not loading, but anyway, uh, yes, that's it. Uh, once again, like I said, a lot of these have ran already. So you may want to wait for a pullback. I just don't know if they are. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just giving you my opinion, how I'm investing. And so far it's doing pretty good. Um, I think it's not a, you know, one of the things where, it's just a short-term thing. I think that they're really building strong brands. They're really building a foundation of women in crypto. If you really think about that Rolling Stone article, all that's going to do is bring in more mainstream people that want to support women-led projects. So uh, definitely just my two cents. But anyway, I hope y'all have a happy, happy Sunday. Uh, get ready for a great week. Relax, you know, relax, get it in. And uh, I'm out. I am the chief. NFT strategists, and I'm gone.